Yeah, Cher and Pedro, that alleged road rage incident turning extremely violent. It happened right out here yesterday afternoon across from a school. A neighbor tells me it was just getting out for the day. One man beaten unconscious, the other arrested. It was all caught on security video, and I do want to warn you, it is graphic. Just seconds after getting out of their vehicles, it appears words are exchanged and the first punch is thrown. Then another, and the fight is on. The two men on the ground and the suspect with overalls and long hair seen pounding the other man with punch after punch, at one point appearing to stomp him and kick him in the head. This goes on, and three minutes after the two men first got out of their trucks, it finally stops. But police say it started when the motorists pulled over after a fender bender on Torrance Boulevard near Elm. One of the vehicles cut the other one off and then slammed on their brakes, and that caused the other vehicle to then try to get by and ended up causing a traffic collision. This neighbor heard the crash, looking outside, shocked to see the violence going on at the end of her street. So I called 911, I looked outside, I started knocking on neighbors' doors because at this point it seemed like the incident was quickly escalating. She tried to find others to help and says neighbors were yelling for him to stop. A good Samaritan is seen in video at one point trying to intervene. I saw a fire engine and my immediate instinct was to run up there, flag the fire, the fire truck down and hope that they could give aid to the guy who needed it. That fire engine and then police are seen arriving. Authorities say both men were taken to the hospital and this 58 year old arrested for felony assault. He's allowed to defend himself. But when you take that defense and then knock that person down and then you're on top of them, continuing to punch them and then kicking them, that is no longer you defending yourself. And a warning tonight about road rage. If you are involved in an accident, you pull the side of the road and somebody is then taking out their anger, make sure you call 911 right away. Stay in your vehicle. Just goes to show that there's, it's not worth it. The road rage is not worth it. And police tell me the suspect could actually press for a misdemeanor assault charge against the victim that threw those first few punches. As for the victim, we don't have an update on his condition tonight. Police did say he was able to give them a statement at the hospital. As for the suspect, inmate records show he's out on bond with a court date set for tomorrow. That's the latest live here in Torrance. Sharon Micah, I'll send it back to you. Laura.